and welcome to Inanis, my video podcast and YouTube channel about my knitting life uh, or crafting life in general, but mostly knitting. My name is Ina and I am coming to you from central Norway and today it is super hot and humid here. So if you can see my face, oh it's quite... <laughs> It's a bit red and uh, ooh, I'm very very I'm quite hot at the moment the thin shirt I have on is one thin shirt too many actually but it needs to stay on <laughs> so I'm super happy to be here again with you today and um, uh, maybe you can notice uh, that I have treated myself to a new and better camera and I'm very very pleased with that and that means that I have a self view so it's much easier for me to record um, and make sure that everything is in focus and that you actually can see what I'm trying to show you and in addition to that uh, my old camera uh, it recorded in segments so every 15 minutes or so it just uh, shut the recording off and even though I was in the middle of something I had to start over and uh, uh, do a lot of editing and clipping and uh, sewing the clips together for you at the end so hopefully this will save me a lot of editing time and that's a good thing right because um, I think it's much fun to record and I don't mind the editing at all but you know I rather knit or do something else than spend hours of editing <laughs> anyway I have decided to uh, from now on uh, keep the chatter part um, at the end of the podcast episodes so stick around for that if you're interested and I also wanted to start off by letting you know where you can find me online because I tend to forget that <laughs> so I will pop up a picture here showing you where you can find me on Instagram and on Ravelry and uh, I also have a Ravelry group for this podcast and it is not very active at the moment but uh, there are sporadically some chatter in there and I really 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 love when you are partaking in communication and uh, or, or communicating with me and uh, that could be on in the Ravelry group by messages on Ravelry or by messaging me uh, on Instagram and I even get some emails from time to time from you lovely viewers and that is super nice and I love that so um, I also wanted to mention that um, I always include some video footage uh, from my daily life and uh, mostly it is um, walks and hiking and outdoor scenery and um, I never talk about it but uh, I always include it uh, at the very end of the episodes and this time all the footage will be from my trip to England which I will tell you more about in the end at the end uh, also, I do make show notes and the show notes you can find in the text box below this video on YouTube and um, yeah, so let's uh, move on to knitting content. I have a couple of finished knits to show you today. The first one is um, a super fast knit that I just completed and it is the Vanon Color Sweater and this is a 
sweater that is knit top down and it has a textured pattern yoke and then it is quite cropped and quite oversized or wide in the design and it is super light I knit this uh, in with Sanna's garn Suri Alpaca and this is a discontinued yarn that I bought from Sanna's was it earlier this year or yeah I believe so this winter because they had a super sale on this particular yarn and a couple of others that they were um, taking out of production so I bought a bunch of it in this and another color and I have barely just used, I think I used two bowls. I haven't weighed it, but I believe this one is weighing just over 200 grams, which is amazing. Um, I still need to uh, give it a little bath and block it out because uh, I need to open up this lace pattern which is quite difficult to to actually see due to the fluffy yarn that I chose but if you go to Ravelry and search for the Ranunculus um, you see a lot of beautiful uh, versions of this sweater in other yarns and there it is much more easy to see the actual patterning so yeah, uh, I decided to go for uh, the short sleeve version and originally I planned to do long sleeves but I, when I tried it on after I completed uh, the full length um, I imagine that it's, even though the, the yarn is quite thin it uh, is warming, or giving a lot of warmth <laughs> due to all the, the fluffiness and uh, that is why I decided to go for short sleeves and I will anyway I will have a, a long sleeved um, pullover thin one underneath uh, or a shirt or something like that so uh, so I, I, I think that I, I made a wise decision to go for short sleeves and I didn't uh, finish the sleeves off uh, as it said in the, in the pattern but I did my very favorite way of finishing sleeves <laughs> which are by doing an I-cord bind off and I'm very happy about that I think they turn out so um, like elegant or something. It's a very, very nice way of finishing sleeves, I think. And yes, uh, this was my first time doing a tubular cast on, and I was super unsure about it uh, from the beginning. Um, I was very worried about. The, uh, the the neckline being too uh, tight but it turned out so elastic and uh, I'm so so pleased with that neckline I think it's super neat so that is a cast on method I will definitely do again um, I'm not going to take this uh, on right now <laughs> because it's way too hot for that but I will give this uh, sweater a good bath and uh, lay it flat to dry and I'm um, trying to take some photos for you to, to watch when I'm finished with that. So my next finished object 
this time is, is this pair of socks and they are the pair I knitted through my holiday to England last week and I think I barely started this pair mm. yes I think I just started the first sock uh, in my last episode so I was just beneath uh, the rimming somewhere and I have knitted a kind of a broken rib pattern um, and uh, the way I've knitted them is the cuff is two by two ribbing right and then I've knitted two rounds of plain um, stockinette and then every third row I knitted uh, two by two ribbing again so then it turned out like this and actually I have two balls of this yarn but I decided to try and crank out one pair of socks uh, from only one ball so then I decided just to knit a tube <clears throat> so I stopped the broken rib pattern on the point where I wanted the heel to go in but I just continued knitting in stockinette um, for the part that will be under the foot and then I put in a contrast toe and this this yarn is from Garnsur and uh, I don't recall the colorway name but it is their sock yarn and I believe I didn't mention the the stripe yarn that is knit picks Felici in Tea Party colorway. So I knitted actually both both socks like that and just skipped. Uh, I didn't put in scrap yarn or anything for the heels, but I plan to do. Hmm, is it called true after thought heels? I think so. So that means you just knit the tube and you knit the toes and then you cut in and undo the stitches where you want the heel to come in. And I think that worked pretty well out. I didn't use a specific uh, pattern for that but I think I've uh, in some other podcast, I can't recall at the moment but um, another podcaster described how they just cut the yarn um, uh, on the mid midden part of where they wanted the heel to come in and then you do the undo the stitches um, put in new needles or maybe you put in the needles first and then you undo the stitches <laughs> but um, it's quite easy to do it like that I'm quite proud of my yarn management when um, it comes to this pair because this tiny little nugget is all that I have left from the 50 gram ball. <laughs> so it worked out perfectly and uh, my mother she really loves these colors and uh, she was uh, hinting quite uh, hard at me that uh, she would love to have this pair for Christmas. So I believe that she will get them done. <laughs> uh, yeah. And uh, the extra ball of uh, Knit Picks Felici Tea Party colorway will become socks for uh, the daughter of a friend of mine because she watched me when I was knitting um, the first sock and she was so super intrigued about the colors in the tea party colorway um, and that such beautiful colors could become a sock that was amazing to her so I really want to make a pair of socks for her 
uh, of the remaining yarn. On to works in progress. My first work in progress is not appropriate to work on today because it is massive and it is woolly and it is super hot to wear. And that is my penguono. <laughs> And this is a pattern by Stephen West. It will become a cardigan or a coat. And last time I showed you, I was on the shoulder, I believe. And now I have completed both sides. So it actually are quite, you can see what this is becoming now. It is easy to see the shape of the, the cardigan. And I have a kind of a color theme or color theme going on. It is um, this uh, turquoise or not turquoise. Oh, is it teal? teal color and it is purples and I have some cream and light grays and for the bottom I just started off with some really 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 dark blue and it is actually turning out quite true to color there. So I am now on the bottom border. And I, I was uh, originally planning to do that quite long, a bit longer than in, it calls for in the pattern. Um, but I, I now, now I'm thinking that I might need to try it on as I knit and just make sure that it gets to the right length. Um, and I know that, you know, a lot of yarn is going into this jacket, so it will probably grow a bit when I eventually wash it and uh, start wearing it. Um, then I need to get to the right length, but uh, at the same time it will probably stretch and, and be, become even longer uh, once I start wearing it. I'm so intrigued by this uh, project. It is super fun to knit and uh, I'm over the moon thrilled by uh, being able to use up so many little scraps from my stash. So this is a true stash buster for me. I am very... Uh, I really don't want to buy any new yarn for this particular project. So I'm only using up all of what's in my stash, basically. I'm holding three strands of yarn together and it is uh, one strand of um, like lace uh, silk mohair and one strand of 100% pure wool uh, in thin fingering weight or even thinner for some parts and um, I even add have added um, some merinos and it differs from, from section to section what I have used. Um, but unfortunately I didn't have some white or grey uh, silk mohair. So I did skip that silky mohair for, for the arms. 
and they are super rough. <laughs> um, uh, but I do hope that it will soften up uh, quite a lot when I I wash it later on. I think it will. It usually do, does that with uh, untreated untreated wool. But the rest of the cardigan is super soft and it is has a lovely, lovely soft texture. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to get it finished and um, start wearing it uh, when the weather gets colder. I need to say though that uh, this is a project that is very hard on my shoulders. I I think I get so eager and uh, excited about it that I I sit and knit like this, you know, and um, my my uh, muscles and everything in there gets super tense. So uh, and I just forget to take breaks because it's so exciting and I I want to get to the next part and uh, put in the next kind of yarn you know and um, well I should take breaks every 10 minutes or so uh, just to uh, relax um, my shoulders but I I did forget so I had to put this away for some days because um, and actually I had the knitting break for a couple of days there because I I was overdoing it unfortunately anyway now I only have the completion of the border down there and then I have a border or a neckline to knit around here and then I'm going to finish the whole thing off with I-cord. And oh yeah, another thing. Another I-cord bind off. <laughs> this is not in the pattern, but you know, me and my sleeve I-cord favorite bind off. Um, or favorite uh, sleeve bind off using I-cord. I just love it. I think it's so, so nice. So well. So that was the Penguono. And I have yet another uh, project on my needles. Where is it? So I am in a super scrappy mood or mode I don't know <laughs> at the moment that sounded quite weird so I am knitting scrappy socks and they are knit two at a time and uh, top down and I have just completed both of the heels and they are looking quite funny in this angle <laughs> because you know there are they are knit by the fish lips kiss heel method and um, I have used almost all just odd uh, leftovers from sock yarn that I have in my stash and I have knit uh, 10 rounds of each color and just you know no particular rule or anything just added the colors as I pleased and I decided to put in white heels on both socks um, because then you can see that they are related Think you can see that anyway but <laughs> these socks really reminds me of Pippi Longstrumpa or Longstocking is that her name in English 
you know, the uh, Swedish book characters, character made uh, by Astrid Lindgren. And uh, she is wearing these long stockings, uh, striped stockings that are very scrappy looking. Or scrappy looking? I don't know. Anyway, they remind me of her. <laughs> so this pair will definitely be for me. I started knitting these uh, three days ago. I barely knitted anything on them last night, but they are just flying by. They they are so much fun to knit. I uh, I don't know if it's due to the fact that I'm knitting two at a time on Magic Loop, or maybe mainly because uh, they are uh, scrappy socks. I don't know. <laughs> They are super, super fun either way. So when I have finished the scrappy pair of socks, I have decided to take a small break from knitting socks for myself. Mm, mainly because I have plenty of socks for myself and I also want to free up some knitting time for other things. I have noticed that lately I have been tending to cast on new socks and I have knitted a lot more uh, socks for myself or like woman side socks than I um, planned to do. So, uh, but my husband, he just told me that he really wanted me to make him a pair, pair of uh, socks, handmade socks. And of course I'm going to do that. So the plan now is to cast on a pair of socks for him and uh, I uh, will probably give them to him for Christmas. And uh, on the note of knitting plans, I have uh, a couple of other things that I really, really, really want to cast on now. I am, I am in a mode now, or a mood, uh, that's like, I, I, I really want to, I, I feel so inspired. I want to cast on everything, and uh, I'm browsing on Instagram and on Ravelry for just colorways that I love and garments that I love and yarn qualities that I love and at the moment I have been super intrigued by all the lovely garments that I have seen uh, made out of silk mohair yarn qualities and um, the first thing that I really, really, really want to cast on right away is the Cumulus blusa or shirt, I would probably call it in English. It is a super elegant, thin uh, sweater with a lovely, lovely v-neck with a, uh, with an eye cord bind off very very nice and it is made uh, the pattern is by Petite Knits and I just bought the pattern the only problem is that I don't have yarn for it so <laughs> well, I probably need to, to buy some more yarn for that particular project and another lovely lovely silk mohair garment is this piece which is the uh, sorbet or Sorbet Cardigan and it's by Millefried Knitwear and those colors make me so happy and both uh, this cardigan and the Cumulus Blusa is knit with two strands of you know the thin thin uh, silk alpaca yarn and uh, I don't have yarn for this either, but I have the I have the pattern now, so uh, I think I might need to <clears throat> pay a visit to my lo local yarn shop 
uh, today, this afternoon, and uh, see if they have some some yarn there that I can maybe use to start these two lovely things. Um, I also really want to cast on a shawl again. I don't have any shawls on my needles. Except for the Excuse Me shawl by Stephen West that I showed you in January, I believe. Um, which has been on my needles forever. And I really don't feel like completing it. Not right now, anyway. But I want to cast on another Stephen West shawl and th there are two shawls actually I want to knit. Um, Firstly, I'm totally in love with the Vertices Unite Shawl. <laughs> Vertices? Vertices. Vertices Unite Shawl. I have seen so many super nice uh, versions of that shawl in many lovely colors and I am debating uh, whether I should cast on that particular shawl or if I should go for the Exploration Station Shawl, which I also love and I has been intrigued by for a super long time. <laughs> so either of them would be great. But yeah, one of them. One of them will be on my needles quite soon, I hope. I also have been started to starting to think about Christmas gifts. I I have been having these thoughts uh, for some time now to try and um, give away as many gifts as possible, uh, as many knitted gifts as possible this year, and yeah. So either hats or mittens or socks, that is, that is probably um, the, the size of the project I'm going for. So for my, my nephews um, and for my son and uh, yeah, probably my daughters. I would love to be able to give away some lovely knitwear to them and my husband, you know, the socks. So that is something I really should cast on quite soon um, in order for it to be realistic to actually happen, <laughs> you know. This week I received a lovely package in the mail and that was from Anna Pia from Finland and she and I, we had agreed on a yarn swap, or a mini skein swap rather. So she sent me 10 super lovely mini skeins. And I'm not going to take them out of the package, but most of them are yarn that she had has dyed herself. And that makes it so special. I also got some yummy things teas and licorice and sweets. <laughs> you know we get a, a package from Finland when the, they have Moomin on them. <laughs> so thank you so much. I love everything. Uh, Anna Pia, she got, uh, has a video podcast herself, which is one of my uh, regular podcast that I always watch and uh, uh, that podcast is called Fru Svarvar Stickar so I can really recommend that. She's making so many beautiful things. So now on to some like chatter I guess. <laughs> um, yeah we're having Super hot weather here, as I told you, and uh, super hot weather here means like up to 30 degrees Celsius temperatures and above that as well. And um, it is quite seldom that we get this kind of hot weather here in Norway, especially where I live, but um, 
you know, it is very cool to experience like yeah, <laughs> these kind of temperatures. But it's also, uh, you know, we we are not made for this climate. We are made for colder climates. <laughs> oh, I I think it is is uh, at least five degrees too much. I I would definitely prefer twenty or 22, 23 degrees Celsius. That's the ideal. <laughs> but that means that I have been staying mostly inside in the air condition um, and um, knitting, <laughs> really. I really should be out in my garden now because uh, my kitchen garden has just like exploded it is um well all the vegetables and everything they are getting super big and um uh yeah i need to get out there and uh, sort things out and start harvesting um i think the potatoes are ready now and we have some beans we call them sugar beans. I'm not sure. Or sukkerbønner. No, sukkerarter. <laughs> um, they are finished and they are super, super sweet and nice to eat. Just raw from the, from the plant. We have been one week in uh, the southwest part of England. I went there with my family and um, my parents and my brother and his family. And we were staying in a rented home in Cornwall in the southwest of the country. And we were so lucky about the weather and everything. It was sunny and warm and super, super lovely. So we had a wonderful time. And uh, due to the weather being so nice, we didn't like go around very much. I did find out where my local yarn shop was and I planned to take a trip there and I actually drove past it at one point but uh, it didn't turn out uh, like I planned so I, I didn't get a chance to pay a visit to that yarn shop unfortunately and that was quite a shame because I you know when I'm out traveling in other countries or you know other parts of the world i that's my kind of like souvenir i i don't mind or i don't like uh, fancy a lot of souvenirs but yarn souvenirs are definitely my cup of tea, tea if you know what i mean and um yeah but i didn't get a chance and we had a lot of cream teas which are like teas english style teas with scones and clotted cream and jam. I will continue my vacation next week. Then we are going to our cabin in the mountains and just spend a lot of time outdoors. Hopefully with okay weather uh, conditions and uh, do some hiking, maybe go to a mountain top or two. Um, we are continuing to paint our cabin on the outside. It really needs that now. And we are changing color as well, so it's quite a bit of work. Um, to relax, and I'm bringing a lot of knitting. A lot of knitting. <laughs> so I hope to get much knitting time. That's all for this episode. I hope that you enjoyed watching and um, I will see you next time. So have a lovely, lovely summer and happy knitting. Bye bye.